Well, right now we've got about 500,000 board feet all together. We've got 100,000 board feet that's cut and dried. It takes about 1,000 board feet to build each boat. These logs, they, these logs are all, they were cut down. These trees were cut down probably two, 300 years ago. They're all ax cut trees. Uh, some of them's got pegs and all in them where they use them for bridge beams to cross these bayous and the uh, uh, Mississippi River. Then those logs, they, they're really heavy already. They're dense, they got a lot of oil in them. That's why termites can't eat it. That's why they don't rot, it's because of all the oil in them. And then it don't take but a little bit of sediment out of that river to get on top of these logs and it sinks them. And then they get buried for hundreds of years and then Katrina come through and exposed a bunch of them. We got a bunch of guys together and drug up a bunch of logs and this lumber we found out when you, if you don't go ahead and saw it and start the drying process, you need to leave the logs in the water. So we cut it, we got 100,000 board feet dried, but the logs that we hadn't sawed up yet, we put them back in a pond and let them stay submerged under water so that it preserves them. And that's where all your greens and all your gold colors come from. That's from the nitrates and the minerals in the wood. There's no stain on any of this wood at all. It's all clear coat. And that's what we're trying to do. We're not trying to, we got some people wanting us to make a lot, be able to mass produce them. And a lot of these pontoon boat companies like Barletta and different ones, they produce 25, 30 boats a day. We're not trying to build a lot of boats. We're wanting to build a customizable build for you, for the owner, to build your boat, custom to you. And, you know, there's not a lot of this wood, so there's not gonna be that many of these boats. Our hull will get better fuel mileage, better turning than any other boat on the, in the industry. But well, every lake in the state of Georgia needs at least one of these. What to do is yeah. get the right buyers, they want something that nobody else has on every lake in the country. We've even got wakeboard package called the Butterfly that we're trying to get a patent on that goes behind it. You can wakeboard behind it, ski behind it, tube behind it. Uh, turns like no other boat in the industry. It's, uh, it's really a very unique piece of machinery.